So hello, Tina. <laughs> nice to be able to chat with you today. So Tina, I want you to share, if you can, your journey, your personal experience of becoming a yeah. Dao Calligraphy soul healer. How that journey was for you and the training you went through with Master Shah, because that's quite unique. Mm -hmm. So if you would share your perspective, journey, and your experience, I think that would be quite fascinating. Uh, yes, I can, Master. Move, right. I came across Master Shah uh, not very long ago mm -hmm. and found out he was coming here to Australia and that he was going to be doing calligraphy and not really knowing anything about it at all. My heart or my soul seemed to jump at it and just couldn't wait to do that. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I don't know why. And so I found it fascinating um, with the calligraphy and I just loved what it represented, that this calligraphy could heal. I was fascinated by that. I wanted to be part of it, I wanted to learn it, and I'm not particularly artistic, I'm not particularly into writing, <laughs> um, but it really just touched me and grabbed me, and um, just couldn't couldn't wait to do it. Yeah. Wonderful. And how was the training? How did you go with the training? I uh, loved the training. I loved learning all about the wisdom of the calligraphy, um, what's actually happening as we're writing. Um, I like the way Master Shah teaches the calligraphy and teaches each character. We get to practice it over and over. The tools that we use are great because you can just keep using the water paper and the paintbrush over and over. And that while you're doing that, you're also transforming yourself even as you're learning it. Um, and that people would come around and also assist us. So, yeah, I found it very easy, very enjoyable. I like having fun, so it was a bit of fun as well, you know. So just, yeah, I really loved it. Very, very, very different to anything I've ever experienced. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And why would you say that? Why was it different? Or how was it different? Um, well, for me, I suppose that I haven't experienced. I haven't ever been drawn to doing art classes or healing classes or anything like that. So um, to be able to incorporate writing, healing and knowledge all sort of in one stroke, um, mm. yeah, it really fascinated me. So, and each symbol represents, you know, something that you can then incorporate that into the healing. Yeah, I just, it's just fascinating completely new, nothing I'd ever heard about, seen about, or um, felt before, so yes. So how did you become then, from that, how did you become a dark calligraphy soul healer? Um, well, as soon as I started the calligraphy um, and enjoyed it so much, I just couldn't wait to become certified. And mm. that re uh, required... Um, getting some, you know, downloads and blessings and then um, actually using the calligraphy to heal other people. So I was very keen to go out that to try it to see, you know, how this affects people. And, and so I did that very quickly and got some great results back and um, get certified sort of within six or eight months, I think it was, you know. Wow. How beautiful! That's really, truly quite a change. It is, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Wonderful. Yes. Great. Well, thank you for sharing that. Thank you. You're welcome.